In this tutorial, we're going to create a new theme for our website. So we're going to create a new folder, and we're going to create a theme, and it will automatically create the app underscore themes folder, and we're going to create a theme called monochrome. We're going to take our existing styles and drag it into the monochrome theme, and we're going to go ahead and rename it so that we know that it's monochrome. We're going to go to Master Pages. We're going to go ahead and get rid of our old link reference to our styles.css page. And we're going to go about this a little differently so that we can apply it to our entire site by using the web config. Go ahead and go to your configuration, system.web, and add a theme, pages theme, and we want it to be monochrome. Now when we do this by default, it's not going to allow us to view in design mode our theme. So if you want the themes, let me, let me just show you real quick, hang on. I also want to go ahead and add a custom errors off so that when you have your site on SOMI and you have an error, it'll give you a little more description in terms of what the error is. So just go ahead and add a custom errors mode equal to off. Let's go ahead and go to our default and go run it. And you'll see that we have our theme. Go ahead and view source. And you can see my monochrome theme has been added to the page via the web config configuration. Now if we go to design view, let's go ahead and go to our design and you'll notice that the theme doesn't carry over so what we want to do is modify our web config and add an additional property to our theme and then save it and now if I go to my master page, you can see the theme is applied. Let's go ahead and add another theme. Now this is going to actually use the themes that came with the book. If you don't have it, you can go to the Rocks website and download the resources uh, for the book, which will include the resources folder, which contains several files that you're going to use from this point forward in our exercises and this is darkgray.css and for those that aren't familiar with this course we are using ASP.NET 4 in C Sharp and VB it's a beginning by WROX rocks it is the 2010 version let's go ahead and change our dark gray Spelled it wrong, sorry. Save it. And go ahead and run it. And you'll see that the site is now using the theme dark gray just by simply changing the web config.